What's up guys, and today we're going to discuss what filmmaking gear you can buy for under 50 bucks. So let's get on into it. Our first section is storage, and what better way than some SD cards? You know, you gotta put your video file somewhere. So we have this Transcend 95 megabits per second SD card. It's used for 4K shooting, which I definitely use right now for my Panasonic G7. $36, you can find them cheaper sometimes, but I like to use this card and it has never let me down. That's all we have for storage, but the next section is lighting. And the first thing we have is the Yongnuo YN300 Air LED. It's kind of a softer LED light source, and it's only 40 bucks. So, you can give a nice soft diffuse look, kind of what I'm doing here, using this diffusion to soften the light. Um, you get really high quality light. It uses Sony NPF style batteries. It has a dimmer control. So it's definitely a great on-camera light, or just an LED light in general. So the third thing you can get for under 50 bucks is the Aperture AL M9 LED light. This has a high CRI, just like the Yongnuo, so they're more true color tones. Um, this one only weighs 140 grams, and it has nine LEDs for $45. You also get a built-in battery. So it may not be as bright or as soft as the Yongnuo light, uh, for five extra bucks, you don't have to worry about batteries. Just charge it up the night before, and you're ready to go. The next thing on this list is the newer Photo Studio Reflector Kit. It includes the light stand, the reflector arm holder, and the reflector. So you can use this 5-in-1 reflector. It has a gold side, a black side, a white side, a silver side, and inside the middle is the um, diffusion. I typically like to use the diffusion in front of the window, nice soft light coming in, but you can use the black side for a negative fill, and the light stand and the reflector arm is going to hold it in place. I actually don't have the light stand here or the holder, but that would be definitely really useful. It says it's currently unavailable right now, but I'm sure that will come back into stock. It was around $40. Next up is light stand. We have these newer three-piece tripod light stands. You get three of them for only 40 bucks. They can extend all the way to six feet. So you can put all your lights right here and then you could even use the reflector kit to use that as diffusion. So you definitely have a cool lighting setup just getting some of these and some LED lights. We have Cinefoil or Black Wrap. Um, I'm not sure if this is the actual version but this is definitely really handy when you're trying to shape light and you don't want to get spill everywhere. There's plenty of videos already about this. I personally don't have any. Um, this is $32.99, but this roll will probably last you quite a long time. Now we're at the third subject, which is supports and rigs. We have the Joby Gorillapod SLR Zoom. Without the head, it's $40.46, and that will mount uh, DSLR, phone, if you want a head, you can get a fluid head or something like that, or this ball head, but that increases it up to $60. So you're definitely going to need quick release plates for filmmaking. Each one of these is $38.50, but you can put this on your tripod, a slider, or glide cam, and it's definitely going to help speed up the production of things. You can just take off your camera, slap it on to the other one, and you're good to go. And we have a shoulder rig by Movo Photo SG100 Video Shoulder Rig. And so this is a more of a basic one. You kind of tuck it up against your shoulder, but it's definitely going to stabilize any video. You, you can use your smartphone with that, you know, get a tripod mount, and it's going to stabilize the whole video, and it's going to give a unique look. But for just under $50, it's going to be a worthy investment. If you don't want to get the whole shoulder rig thing, you can get a top handle which will help you get low angle shots or just simply to carry around your camera with and it has a hot shoe at top or technically it's a cold shoe and you can put your microphone there light audio recorder whatever you feel like it's quarter 20 mounts all over it so you can use things to attach like a magic arm i believe um, for only 30 dollars it's a pretty solid piece of gear 
Next up we have batteries and power. This is the DST NPF 970 battery, a 7,900 milliamp hours. And you can use this with the Young Nuo light. Now it definitely lasts you a long time before you have to recharge these. And has two of them, a battery charger and a car charger. But this can power more than just lights. You can use them even to power your camera. Um, several videos have done this before where you can just simply attach the battery onto this plate and then power it through a dummy battery to your camera, which will last way longer than the swappable batteries you can put in your camera. I thought I'd add a power bank because you can use this to even power the aperture light or just your smartphone or probably some audio recorders can use this as well. Or even the Sony cameras, they can charge through USB. Um, $40, you put this in your camera bag or you know, just keep it around to charge your phone and stuff. Last section, we have camera bags. This is the newer Pro camera case. It says it's waterproof and shockproof. I don't know if I would test that, but um, definitely a lot of storage to store your camera, lenses, audio recorder, microphones, and has a red interior, which should help you find things since most camera equipment is black. You're able to find things quickly since it's a bright color. Um, it opens on the outside, so I'm gonna get to that in just a little bit, um, why you may not want to get that. Definitely a lot of storage, and it's only $30. We have another camera bag, and this one opens from the where you ha have it against your back, so no one can get to your camera except for you once you take it off. And it has this little cover thing on here. The weird thing about this camera bag is it actually comes with a tripod, and it doesn't look like this tripod is gonna be any good for your camera except for a static shot. Maybe just throw this in your car and just keep it whenever you want to go out and shoot something. You didn't bring a tripod. Well, guess what? You did. It's in your car. $40.99. So that's the end of this video. If you haven't already, you can check out filmmaking gear under $100. And I'm going to do some more series such as under $25, under $10, and even under $1. So stay tuned for that. So thanks for watching. If you want to watch more of my videos, there are some to the left and right. Please make sure you like this video and comment if you have any questions.